Are you trying to create 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 custom properties inside of HubSpot? I have the best trick for you. This is literally, I'm going to just jump straight to the punchline and show you that in this tool that I have created, I can create a hundred properties in HubSpot in a matter of seconds. So check this out. All right. So as you can see, I'm in my HubSpot demo account. I have a group that I have created that's called custom properties and the, if I go to view that group, there is no properties inside this custom properties group right now. I go over to Airtable, and I'm just literally going to check the box on this. So I'm going to copy this checkbox, and then I'm going to paste it down here to all these values. And you'll see in just a second, as this starts thinking, check all these boxes, and you're going to see that these just start populating with the word success. So boom, every one of those that says success, if I go over and refresh HubSpot here, you can see that these properties are being created in real time. So I click back over here, more of them are getting populated, boom, 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 come back and check this out. And this is the part that is absolutely amazing is that it's literally creating dozens of properties in a matter of seconds, as opposed to the traditional way of going in here and clicking, you know, which I want to do it for this, pick the group that I want to do it in, label it, describe it. It's just incredibly tedious and takes a very long time. And if you go and look at any one of these properties, um, it's completely filled out like the exact way that I had this in here. So I can go look, it's got a description in here. So if you go in and look at any one of these, we've got, you know, the deal title exactly as it was written. I can see all of the values in the dropdown are filled out exactly like I had it before. You can see the description is filled in. And if I go over and look inside of here, this is exactly what I put um, in this section. So if I go find that clone deal option right here, you can see the title of the, um, the, the property that was put into HubSpot clone deal. Uh, the description is put in there. The options in the drop down are added. So this is a massive, massive time saver, um, especially if you are an agency owner that has to do or you, you found a niche and you create the same type of properties over and over and over again for people. Um, you can create an Airtable base like this. And with very small amount of setup, you're able to you know, create hundreds of properties effortlessly. And the best part is there's not going to be any errors. It's going to be exactly how you do this. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean Automation, where we free you up to do what you love. And specifically, we do that in the painting and home service space. So if you're a residential painting owner or you know someone that owns a residential painting company, that is our specialty. We've created maps and process maps, workflows, all the properties that you need to run a business. We can come and teach people in your business how to do that. We have courses so you can have your marketing manager, your ops person, your finance person, learn how to use these no code tools and implement this into your business. The other thing that we do is a software called Boolean Review. This is broad, it is any B2C business can use this and it is the highest converting Google review software. We use all sorts of no code tools to have built this, but it's a really cool thing that not only gets you more Google reviews, but gets you Google reviews with SEO keywords in them, with photos from your customers, stories, your employees get mentioned by name. Um, and you can, I'll show on the screen here, we've done this for countless home service businesses. This does work outside of home service, but if you're a home service business in particular, this will absolutely dominate for you. So if you want more information, you can click the links down below, but that's what we do here at Boolean. Now let's get into this video. All right. So first thing I'm going to make all this stuff available to you. Um, my team has spent a lot of time building this out. So I'm going to uh, provide the link to this template down below so you can at least get started with some basic properties. And then you're, it'll be up to you to, you know, name them, come up with what properties you want to put in here. Um, but I'll show you exactly how you get this set up. So the first thing is you're going to go and duplicate uh, this uh, base. So I'm going to show you how that's going to work. So when you click the link below, you're going to be taken to a screen that's like this. 
And then you're going to go up here, the drop down, click the three dots and click duplicate base. And then you can go ahead and type in whatever name you want for this. So uh, just like HubSpot property robot test. Um, and I'm calling it test just because I'm demoing this. Um, and then make sure that whatever workspace you're placing this into is a paid workspace. So you do have to have a paid account with, with uh, Airtable. Um, they're like 25 bucks a month. And if you've never used Airtable before, uh, you could even use the free trial for 14 days while you're setting up your um, uh, HubSpot account. If you are an agency owner and you do this for lots of different companies, um, you would probably just want to save this. Um, and I'll show you why. So go ahead and click duplicate base. And then that's going to actually duplicate the base into your own account. And once it's in your own account, you're going to see that there's this automations tab here. And then in order to activate the automations, you can see it says you need to finish setting it up. So the first thing you're going to do is just click this run script. Over here on the side, it says you cannot run scripts on the current billing plan, so you need to upgrade upgrade to a paid account. Um, and then once you're in the paid account, you will finish running the script uh, test. And as soon as you finish running the test like that, it will immediately allow you to activate this. So if I jump over to one of my accounts that is paid, just to give you an example. Um, so you're going to get to this screen. You're gonna go ahead and click run script, click test action, run test, and then wait for it to finish running. As soon as it finishes running the test action, and again, this is only going to be available if you have a paid account um, or paid workspace that this is in. If it's not, it won't work. As soon as that runs as a test, now everything else is ready to go, and we can go ahead and turn it on, and then you are ready once you, uh, the only other thing you need to make sure is that you do have your um, HubSpot account updated here. And then as soon as you go through, whoops, on the HubSpot tab here, uh, you're going to go through and start checking the boxes and it will create the properties inside of your HubSpot account. And then you're going to go into the HubSpot accounts tab. So as you can see here, I'm going to have these couple examples. I've already deactivated this private app token. So, um, disregard this, you're going to overwrite this. Um, but as you can see, I just put a couple here. And the reason that we built it like this is because, again, at Boolean, we're doing this for a number of painting clients that, um, you know, just one after the other after the next. So think of this as you can put all of your different client accounts in here and you can create private apps inside of HubSpot and associate the name of that client, the account number, the HubSpot account number, and then their private app token. So how to make a private app token that's going to be used for this specific purpose you're going to go to HubSpot. Go, you have to be a super admin to do this, and you're going to go to Private Apps. And then inside of Private Apps, you're going to click Create a Private App. And then we can call this the HubSpot Property Creation Robot um, or whatever cool name you want to use there. And then under Scopes, you're going to search for Schema, and you're going to put in the right... Uh, check the right fields there and click create app, continue editing. And so now this token that is shown here, we're going to copy this and I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to paste in that token. And then the account number is the account number. If you were to click over on the side here, you can see that this number shown underneath here, that is your um, account number. But you're going to take this account number uh, it, to copy it, the easiest way is actually inside of the browser here. You can copy that first set of digits right after private apps. So I'm going to copy that, go over to Airtable, paste that number in, which I've already done, you can see. And then again, just keep in mind that you can do this and have a several different client accounts in here. When I go back over to the HubSpot property table, um, you can see that I'm choosing which account I want to associate these um, properties with. So for example, right now they're all set up to the HubSpot demo account. If I had multiple clients in here, I could choose, I want this to be associated with client number one, and then their private app token would get populated over here. So 
um, for the sake of this, all of the properties that I'm going to be creating are for this HubSpot demo account. So that will be like that. All right, and then the final step is you actually, the, the powerhouse behind this entire thing, the reason that this works is because of the script that we wrote in the automation in Airtable. Um, in order to run JavaScript, just as a side note, you do have to have a paid Airtable account, but assuming you do have that, um, you would be good to go. If, if you're someone that's just looking to use this one time, just a, a note, you could upgrade for a single month, pay like $10 to Airtable and then downgrade your subscription. But if you're an agency owner, first of all, you probably should be using Airtable for a lot more than you are right now. Um, and there's countless other tools and things that you can build inside of Airtable that, again, just give this very simple user interface to, to do that. So um, in this, with the run a script here, if I go, um, in order to turn this on, you will have to test each step. Um, I've already done that, but you're going to go in here and, you know, click choose a record. And um, if you don't see a record in here to start, um, you do need to go just check the box for one of these. So just like click check, create property. And then when you go back to choose a record, you will see an option there to select. So we're gonna do that. Then we can go and we can test each one of these. So I'll click test action. Once that runs, then you're gonna go again and click um, generate a preview. And then <clears throat> once you do that, you'll see that it will allow you to turn this automation on and the creating of the properties won't happen unless the automation is on. So once the automation is turned on, then you can come back over to this data tab, and that's when you can go in and you can create multiple properties at the same time. So um, if I go back over to the account here, the first thing you need to do prior to actually doing, actually running this is you do need to make a group that matches the group name that you have for like, these are all the contact records that I want to create. So you can see that in here, I have created a group name that is called custom properties. Um, I had some other ones in here. You could call it contact information, company information, whatever. If I wanted to put the property that I'm making into this contact information field, um, I could choose that, and this is the HubSpot group that was created to start with. I like creating a separate group so I can keep track of all the custom properties that I make. So you're just going to go to Create Group in HubSpot, Custom Properties, and then save that. And that's going to show you uh, a new group here, but the key is that that custom properties matches the custom properties here. Um, the capitalization um, does not matter but the space does. So if you have a space in your name of the group that you create, it will be an underscore in the group name field. Um, so my recommendation is just use the term custom properties. You can get this all working. Um, and then the last thing you're going to do is actually um, write list out all the properties that you want to make. So if I was going to do this from scratch, I can like, let's say that you want to have a contact property that is called, um, you know, maiden name. So I could call the label is going to be maiden name. And you can see that we put in some um, code here that automatically fills in the internal name. I could put a description here that the contacts maiden name. And I've got a bunch of filters that are rearranging things here for me, but um, contacts uh, maiden name, this is going to be in the custom property group. This is going to be a string. It is a text field. The form would be true. Uh, the options is irrelevant in this case, and it's going under the contacts property. Um, I do, this is just to organize properties that you, that are native in HubSpot or that you need to create. So this one you can kind of ignore. And then the last thing that I do need to check which account I wanna create this for. Um, so now you can see when I click create property. Um, we'll watch this run and it's going to tell us success. And there you go. When there's no error detail, there's nothing. It means it worked successfully. So if I go over here and go to custom properties, properties, the group I want to look at is custom properties. I'm going to refresh this. And there you go. You can see that the maiden name field was created. It even brought in that description that I wrote in. 
Um, just super, super powerful. So again, if I want to do this for lots, I can just check all these boxes. And just like you would expect, um, they're going to start populating through the Airtable script. Um, success. Um, this one, so here's a great example. This one says there's an error. And the reason that there's an error, it gives you feedback right here, is that the work email already exists. So in this case, um, uh, the same thing would happen if I did this maiden name one again. So I've already done it once, but if I were to try and recreate, um, it's going to tell me error, this is already a property in the system. So either you can just that, you know, helps prevent, it helps prevent creating duplicates. But if for some reason I actually did want that work email to cre or to exist, maybe I put a typo in there. That's something else I could call it like work email too. And then that will get updated. And now if I delete the error message, I can try again to create. And you'll see once this processes again, that it will successfully create work email too. And then once that does, there we go, it's success. I can go refresh the list here. And you can see, boom, all those properties have been created for you. So um, as you can probably guess, this part here of writing down and creating all the properties that you need or that you want, um, that is going to take a little bit of time. However, this is very powerful if this is something that you do frequently. So if you have a set like list of properties or, you know, say there's a list of 150 properties and when you're working with or getting a, an account set up, you have to do this for, you know, there's, you pick and choose which properties a client needs. Um, you can set this up. So you've got your entire list of properties in your air table, and then you just get that private app key for the client. And then you're just clicking create, um, the checkbox here and all those get created as soon as you check the box. And the last thing I'll say is that we did break this up for contacts, companies, and deals. Um, and so you can create the property. You just have to make sure, like, if this one was supposed to be a company property instead of a contact, all I have to do is click company, and it's going to move it down to that company section there. Um, and just like with everything else in Airtable, um, you can, you know, get rid of the filters and stuff or the sorting of things. If I don't want to group it, I can turn that off so it's just one big list. I kind of like grouping it by property type because it's just it's nice to be working with all the contact properties, all the deal properties, et cetera. So um, I'd highly recommend doing that. But that is the process and the video. So um, hopefully this was helpful to you. This is something that literally took my team, um, I don't even know, about two weeks of trial and error testing. We worked in on HubSpot's API to build this. So it would mean the world if you could um, share this video with other people. If you've got referrals for painting companies that need to optimize their business processes, send them our way. Like I said at the beginning, check those links at the bottom. If you need more help and there is something in here that didn't quite make sense or something's not working for you, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm gonna provide a link to book a time on my calendar if you like to chat, chat about automation. Um, and don't forget to check the other links that I mentioned at the beginning, the Boolean review software and whatnot. But um, if you like automation tips and tricks or you're in the painting industry, definitely subscribe. This is the type of content that I put out here at Boolean where we free you up to do what you love.